I mean, you know, you know, there are two ways people go about that. Um, it's really how do you make instruction more interesting? And, and research on interest also goes back a long ways. I mean, Dewey has a book, you know, in the early 1900s on, on interest in education. And I, and, I th and I think his point is relevant to video because he really points out that you can add a lot of bells and whistles to instruction. So you could do this to video. You could make it be very glitzy and, um, you know, high production quality and very entertaining um, and a lot of fun. But, but that can all really distract from the learning aspect of a lesson. So if you, ha I mean, his point, and I think it's still relevant, if you have to add interest to a lesson, that means interest is really lacking in the first place from the lesson. Interest should come from the content itself, not from some external um, uh, adjuncts <laughs> that you add to it. So you should start with a lesson that is inherently interesting to learners and that is understandable to learners. So I, um, I think Kinch calls that kind of, um, what, what um, Dewey was talking about there, he calls that emotional interest. So you can make it emotionally interesting, but I don't think in education that's what we're going for. In entertainment we are, but in education we're going for what I would call cognitive interest. And cognitive interest comes from your ability to understand what's being presented. So being able to present things in a very clear way, in a concise way, so that a student can look at that and say, yeah, you know, I understand the phases of the moon now. <laughs> I never understood that before, but I, I see it now. I, I, it makes sense to me. To me, that's what, that's cognitive interest. That's what I think we want to achieve with video and with any good instruction. We want people to be able to build a mental model that they can run themselves and, and you know, reason with. So, uh, so it gives them power. So they can, they, they can now, you know, think of new things, they can make predictions, they can, you know, master what's being presented in a deep way. So when you have deep learning, I think that's really what creates interest. So that's the kind of interest I'm, I would really like to focus on, not the kind of adding lots of glitz and color and sound and motion and interactivity. Those things don't necessarily promote learning. Um, Interactivity actually can, if students don't know how to use it correctly, can actually distract them. Um, so I would focus on, you know, making sure that the, the material is understandable and presented in a way where students are going to be able to feel like, hey, I get it. <laughs>